guys, how's it going? So since the other Pomeranian video was such a hit, I decided that I wanted to do a Pomeranian for you guys, a full coated Pomeranian where I don't have to shave him or anything like that. So this is Happy. He is truly a happy dog. I mean, he's wonderful. His coat is so soft. Um, I did an olive oil shampoo on him with a uh, Terminator conditioner because the amount of undercoat that was coming off from this little guy was just um, a lot. But anyways, so he's this cutest little guy. It, he's a first time client, so I'm really excited to work on him. And look at how much fur he's got. He's really tiny. He's very, very tiny, but he's just got a lot of fur. Happy. Hi, Brady. So he's a happy little guy. He's very handsome. Look how tiny he is. Well, you can't tell from all that fur, but pretty much all I'm doing on him is I'm going to neat all these little sticky outies um, he's got going on, like all these tiny little things and his butt feathers. Find the butt. So pretty much, I'm just going to trim this and make it look, make it look nice and curvy. I would not recommend doing it with a clip comb. If you do want to do it with a clip comb, I would say do it with your inch um, clip comb to just kind of skim over. But this one, I'm just going to use my big chunkers and my uh, curved thinners to kind of round the butt area. We don't want poop getting stuck in his fur. So I'm not using the whole blade like that. I am literally using the um, like half of the ten to get um, the hair off the butthole. Because think about it, if I'm going like that using the whole blade, I'm literally taking a big chunk off, and you're gonna end up with a ugly big round baboon butt. You don't want that. So I'm tilting my hand at an angle, see? And I'm just using that to clean the butt. Okay. It's all on your wrist. And then I'm using the tin to literally just drag it over the hair a little bit. I'm skimming it. See? There's your butt. Nice little perfect butthole. Beow. afraid to take your comb once you're scissoring don't keep going like this you're gonna go like this and then you're gonna scissor you're gonna go like this you're gonna scissor guess what once the dog shakes his body everything goes out of place so stop going like this and let the dog shake so you can see what you need to try so I use my big chunkers to just take um, how much hair that I want to take off the body. And then I'm using my curves to just trim it out. 
rounding that butt out. I hope you guys are getting ready for your city, your state, your country to open. I don't know about you guys, I was already wearing masks and I'm afraid of people anyways. So I'm still gonna keep wearing my mask. I love wearing my mask. I think it's a great protection for myself and for others. So keep wearing your mask. I would highly, highly recommend keep practicing social distancing. Uh, for us here, when a client's drop off, it's a 30 seconds drop off. And if you're new, we don't know you, then we give you the paperwork. We let you fill out the paperwork outside or you can go on the website, fill out the paperwork, just to limit, you know, the amount of time people spend in here. And I'm, I'm immunocompromised and we have a few of the uh, other girls who are immunocompromised. So we just, we want to stay alive. We don't want to, you know, die. We're not saying that everyone is affected with the virus, but you know what? The common cold, uh, the common virus or whatever someone might have at the moment can be a problem to someone who has uh, autoimmune issues. So just keep your mask on and stay away from people. Go about your day and uh, we should be able to get back to this thing without any issue. So this is the butt so far. I'm gonna go ahead and work on the other side. And then when I'm done, I'm gonna go back over this to make it nice and neat. So all these lines here, I don't, I don't like it. I mean, that's the point with uh, cutting with these. You get off how much hair you want. And then I take my small uh, feathers and then just clean up my lines. I'm very anal about lines when I'm grooming. It drives me crazy. The other day I had a chance to clean my blades and um, of course I didn't get a chance to dry the oil out of them so I had to use the other woman's blades. So it was pulling and messy and just, they don't like that. But here's what we have so far. But this is what the butt is looking like. And I'm using my uh, curved centers. Again, as I mentioned to you guys, these people are not paying me to tell you um, to get these things. Uh, I got this off AliExpress. You can even get it on eBay. Honestly, if you get it on off eBay, you'll receive it a lot faster than if you get it from AliExpress because right now with how things are, I don't think you're getting anything that's coming from China, which is suck because, you know, AliExpress, you get a lot of good cheap things and a lot of good quality stuff too. So if you can, do your best. And Robin back there is just laughing. But anyways, look at that. This is this is what you're looking for. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the other side so you guys can get a better idea.
you guys really want to learn, volunteer with your local shelters. They will always have dogs in need of getting a haircut. Now, that one can be tricky. If um, if you're going to get, if you're going to volunteer uh, at the shelter has a groomer, you do need to be careful. You have to understand those poor animals are fearful. They have been through a heck of a lot. So if you are not a confident groomer, I don't recommend it. Just try working with the ones who are not so fearful, but the ones who are extremely knotted and scared for their lives, then I would not um, suggest that you give that a try. But uh, Lexi, excuse me, but your local animal shelters would be the best way to go. Don't mind Lexi. Here's the second side. This is what you want. <clears throat> this is the butt. So this is the perfect Instagram butt that I'm talking about. There we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish her um, feathers, finish the size of her body. I'm gonna go ahead and trim that the same way. But I always wanna start with the butt because it always takes so long to do. It's kind of like when I'm grooming a regular dog, I'll start on the face because it takes me a long time. But once you're doing a dog like that and you're doing it with scissors only, this dog is a boy, so you want to find out where the penis is. The good thing is I've already done uh, his sanitary, so my hand finds his penis very easily. So you want to find it, pretty much cover it, or put put a barrier between uh, the penis and the scissors. Just hold it, okay? That way, when you're doing this, you're not accidentally going, oops, that will be a lot. So let's not do that. So just find the penis, hold it, and then trim it. And what I'm doing is instead of cutting the hair straight across, I'm tilting my hand a little bit. That way I can make it in the shape uh, of an oval because I'm trying to make them look like a ball. Sweetheart, you have to stand up. He just wants to lean all over me. There you go. And then, so I pretty much use my chunkers to get this. I'm gonna use my curve with my hands like this. I'm sure there are other groomers that have an easier way of doing that, but this is easy for me, okay? This is easy for me and I'm, I'm, I'm better at doing that rather than um, doing it with a clip comb. Like some groomers, they will take a clip comb and lightly going over it, but you have to have really steady hands. And unfortunately, I don't have steady hands anymore. So you just have to go like this. And of course it's practicing your scissoring skills too. Buddy, do you want a pretty haircut? Just moving and moving and moving. But yeah, you get the idea. So I'm gonna fast forward it off a little bit. No 
Okay. So this is what I've got so far. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same on the other side. He's tired. Keep in mind, I'm just using my thinners. opening for an incident. So I'm trying to, <laughs> look how cute he is. I'm trying to get his little um, mane. That side. He's just, he's got that hair. And I'm trying to get everyone, everything to be perfect. Like I said, he shakes and he goes out the way. Big man, look how handsome you are. How big, look how handsome you are. So pretty much with these ears, I didn't do much. I just take the little feathers, trim around it, okay? And then his tail, I just trimmed it a little bit. Once you look in the butt back there, you'll see the big, nice and round, Instagrammable butt. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna let him run on the floor so you can see him.